Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. Today I'm going to talk about how everything in life is on the way and not in the way. So, unless <laughs> you are incredibly aligned and enlightened, you'll find from time to time that certain things come into your experience and they're not particularly desirable. Um, I had a particularly strange Sunday this last Sunday. Um, a friend of mine who has got quite severe ADHD and her mind tends to hop and skip and jump. Um, she'd heard from a friend of hers that they were having a sort of conscious gathering in the park and suggested that we went along and it sounded really exciting and interesting especially since I'm interested in all of those things so I thought why not? Unfortunately, when we got there, um, because her mind hops and skips and jumps, she hadn't completely listened to the person who'd given her the details about this meeting in the park. And it wasn't really a conscious gathering as we thought it was going to be. It was actually a stand up to ty tyranny. <laughs> so it was quite different from what we'd been expecting. And a lot of people there were angry, understandably so. Um, and whilst I don't disagree with some of the things that they were expressing and the things that they think about, for me, it's not really something I would get behind purely because it comes from a space of anger. Um, and I'm sharing this because I could have got really upset that I had a bump in my sort of normal life in that I ended up standing in the park um, being aligned to something that I wouldn't normally have aligned to. But when you think that everything in life is on the way and not in the way, you start to look at things very differently. Um, the people who are part of the group um, quite a lot of them are people that I think would agree or I would agree with on a lot of things in life. Um, people who are similarly aligned in our thoughts and our views. Apart from some other things, obviously like the standing up to tyranny, it's not really how I would go about it. But when you start viewing life like that, you start looking for the meanings for things in your life. Um, I haven't quite figured out what the meaning about Sunday was, but there was another time in my life when I had a neighbour who caused me quite a lot of distress and it went on for a really long time and I remember I really struggled with it until one day I was walking down the driveway and I'd been out for a run and it suddenly occurred to me that things are on the way and not in the way and as soon as I could understand what it was or why this lady had come into my life or this situation, then the sooner it would most likely just clear out and go. And I mean, it was so many years ago now, I can't really remember what aha I had about the situation. But within a week, suddenly she was moving and she was moving to the other side of town, which was over half an hour away from me. And this lady had had no intention of leaving because where she was living was supposedly her ideal house that she sort of dreamt of for years and years and years. So when you start to understand why something is on the way, what it's meant to be helping you with in life. Suddenly all sorts of um, circumstances and situations can change and adapt. The same happened when I lived in a house that I wasn't particularly happy about living with. And um, the walls were very, very thin. My neighbors, I could hear them on both sides. And the whole situation for me, who's used to big open spaces and lots of peace and quiet was quite stressful, I suppose. And instead of resisting it and thinking that life was sort of cruel or mean or whatever else that I could have been thinking, I decided to do exactly what I'm talking about here and think that it was in, I'm sorry, on the way rather than in the way. Um, I made friends with both of my neighbours who turned out to be really, really amazing and wonderful people. And within a year, suddenly my landlord decided he wanted to um, redo the whole building and to sell it on. Um, that it was no longer the investment that he wanted it to be and he was changing his approach to it. Um, and that meant we had to find a new house. And again, it was another situation that I could have gone, oh my God, you know, why are these things happening to me? But actually, as it turned out, we've ended up in a house that we much prefer and we're really happy with. And it has so much more peace and quiet and um, it's in a much, much better position. So it's learning to rephrase and re-see things in life to see that everything in your life, whatever it is, is on the way and not in the way. And how you do that is to start asking yourself, how does it make you feel? Whatever situation is going on is triggering you. And as soon as you can start to let go of those triggers and to release them, then you'll find 
that your life flows more easily, you let go of the resistance, and you can live much more happily and much more joyfully. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you have a fabulous week. Um, I obviously, I offer coaching, that's what I do and who I am. And I also have a number of online courses and you can find all about those from my website and my social media in the links below this episode. Um, if you've enjoyed this and you don't want to miss out and you want to listen to more, then um, you can subscribe and you'll make sure that you'll get your weekly dose. And if you really enjoyed it and you think someone else will benefit from what I'm sharing, then please share it yourself. Um, I would love that. It would be really mean a lot. Lots of love from me to you. Bye-bye.